Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some clip on bow ties for the first time for the junior FOI they're drilling at Savior's Day. And first, yeah. I'm just going to show you guys what I bought. I bought some interfacing, some fabric. So I'm making black and one white uh, bow tie. I got some vinyl because uh, it's going to have like a gold star and crescent on it. And I got some starch alternative because it's satin. Uh, stitch witchery and just a uh, sewing gauge. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is measuring out rectangles that are four inches by 10 inches. And this order was for nine bow ties, eight black and one white, but I threw in a couple extra. So in all, it was uh, 12 bow ties. So that, mean I, that means I had to do 24 of these pieces. I'm serging all of the raw edges so I don't have to worry about the ends or anything fraying after the bow tie is already made. I wanted to use picking shears, but all of the picking shears at Joann's were super expensive. So I think I wanna find some on Amazon for a cheaper price. The next thing that I need to do is measure and cut the interfacing. I did two and a half by four and a half uh, pieces and I'm only cutting 24 pieces now, but I ended up double interfacing the pieces so it could be more stiffer and hold the structure of a bow tie. I'm going to spray the pieces with a starch alternative because it is satin and I didn't want the fabric to get messed up or anything like that. But this is going to help with like the stiffness of the bow ties. I'm applying the interface to the pieces and I'm just using my gauge to center the pieces to make sure it's even because I'm going to press and wrap the fabric around the interface so I want to make sure it's even amount on all sides. So this is the part where the bow tie actually really starts to take form. I'm just folding and pressing the fabric around the interfacing and making sure it's really crisp and sharp. I use a stitch witchery which is kind of like a double sided interfacing or like a glue for fabric to make sure that the uh, back flaps don't come up and they stay in place. As my phone had died so I had to interrupt the um, time lapse but so far right now um, I'm just getting them ready. Uh, it's going to be double, oh sorry, the steam. Um, oh. It's going to be double uh, sided, so it's going to be like back to back like this. So here and then here and then like, you know, and um, what was about to say? Yeah, I had to do another layer of interfacing because it wasn't as stiff as I needed it to be. So that's where we at right now. I think I'll put the time lapse back on. Guys, for the uh, crescent and star part, I'm going to use my Cricut machine to cut the vinyl. Connected it to my um, my iPad, and I have to go on the Cricut app. Where is it? Should be around here somewhere. Here it is. Okay, so I am. The sparkly gold vinyl that I got, and so like right here. So apply, you're going to cut, say, uh, this part right, press it, and start. We're going to make this, uh, let's see, how you do this, edit, we're gonna go one, and then it's going to be by one, right? So, I'm just going to open this. Mm. 
this vinyl be expensive. For no reason. Just this little sheet. For the Stronghold masks for the Cricut. I never use them because it's a Stronghold, but this is a thicker vinyl, so I'm gonna use that. Let's put the iPad up here. And let's make it. This is a so have you guys ever watched um the giver? I love the stupid uh the movies. The giver is an Also um diversity. Look, all of my devices are purple. <laughs> my phone is purple too. Go watch the video of me unboxing my new iPhone 14. So what we do is take this plastic off. And you don't throw it away. I'm misremembering. You gotta put it on this side. Cause I'm gonna need the paper, the plastic to stay on. Iron it. It's a good hole. It's a good stick. Okay. So you would insert this. Oh, it's kind of cute. Okay, put it off. Put the other stuff off. Okay. So that's kind of like how it's supposed to go. Can y'all see that? Hey guys, it's the next day. I just want to show you the different stages that I'm at. So this is a completed bow tie. Okay. This is the bow tie before I wrap it and put the vinyl. And as you see, I had to put a... Um, I had to make the vinyl small, so I need to go ahead and cut those over again. This is one inch. This is half inch. So I like the half inch better. It just complements it better. Um, and this is before I bind it with yarn. The center. Um, so right now I'm just going to show you how I get here to here to here and I'm just going to do a time lapse because I still have some that are just like this that I need to iron more interfacing on so right now I'll just do a video recording how I get like from here to here and then the rest will be time lapse so I'll do that for one
So guys, now I'm getting ready to put in the bow tie clips and I just uh, try to center it in um, as best as I possibly can. I'm going to seam rip through the first layer of fabric so that I can have some slots to insert the bow tie clip. And you're not going to see the raw edges back here in the opening when we put the two pieces back to back. I'm just going to press these pieces one more time so they're warm enough so that they stay in the place when I mold them with the crimping process. And I'm sorry guys about being out of frame here and there. If you want a detailed tutorial, please let me know in the comments. So what helps the binding process is when you mold the shape of the bow tie before you get there after you iron it. Now I'm going to bind the center with yarn and then you'll see the bow tie really start to take its true shape. So guys, I'm just going to finish up the rest of these. So this is where I'm at right now. I have one more black one to make that I'm going to do off camera. And I will do the time lapse of me making the two white ones to put with these because the order uh, was for one but i'm throwing in a couple extra um and yeah and maybe we're going to find a nice box to put it the, put these in and i guess i'll show you how the process of that too so that's where we're at right now
Oh guys, this is where I'm at now. I cut out some strips to um, press on to the other ones. I just have a couple more of the bands to put on and then I'll just do a time lapse of me pressing a piece on and then show you guys the finished product. Okay y'all, so these are the finished products. Thank you guys for watching. If you want a specific, like a tutorial um, on anything that I did in here, like a in-depth tutorial, please comment down below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Please turn on the post notification bells. Guys, please like, please, please like this video if you enjoyed watching. If you made it to the end, drop some emojis, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Yeah.